I'm really excited to talk about the show. Me too. Show on silent. Oh yeah, good, good call. Anything exciting happened today? No, I was just thinking about the podcast all day. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Oh, and since the show we're talking about is a little more southern, I've got uh -huh. my sweet tea in a mason little mason jar cup. Sweet tea? Is it spicy? Oh no, you don't. No, you don't have to do anything to sweet tea in the south. It's perfect as is. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Queers and Soaps. I'm Aaron, one of your hosts, and I'm joined by my fabulous co-host, Tommy. Hello, Tommy. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm beautiful. We're it's very formal great. today. It's humid <laughs> and hot as hell, so it's Tell life in the <laughs> oh wait 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 today we're talking about a show that's very close to where i live so you know what that means what i can bring out the hat <laughs> in the south because <laughs> we're talking about this tv show nashville oh yeah <laughs> howdy y'all <laughs> wow <laughs> i got my little mason jar I'm, i call it my cowboy drag your cowboy drag <laughs> Because I don't wear this stuff like just <laughs> day to day. <laughs> Some people do, but I don't. Nothing wrong with well, that. I kind of like it. I am super excited to talk about Nashville. We only watched the pilot. So yes, we're going to watch the pilot, but I'm so ready to watch more. Oh my God. Oh my I was God. obsessed with this show when it was on. I didn't watch the whole series. So I guess I wasn't that obsessed. But. <laughs> I watched it when it was on ABC. I didn't watch it when it went to CMT. I don't know why. I think there was like a delay in the season and then I didn't get CMT and then I just, I didn't watch it. But when it was on ABC, I was obsessed. The show is full on soap. Mm -hmm. like, I know you yeah. said you, you checked out a few episodes here and there when it was on. Yeah, I, I, well, I, they released the music is like music videos sometimes too, or, or the songs would be on iTunes and I would listen to the songs. Then sometimes go and look like to see what the kind of the music video was of it. And so that's kind of my knowledge of it until now, but my okay. sister loved it and was always trying to, was always like watch Nashville. It's so good. I'm like, yeah. Oh my God. yeah, it was during that time when, you know, being in the South, I was at that age, you know, a young 24, Five or 26 didn't know who I was but knew I didn't want to like always be in the south because I was like oh I don't want to be stereotyped as a typical southern so I was afraid that's kind of what this show may have been like I was wrong um I can admit <laughs> that it's great it's wonderful and I wish I would have watched it I wasn't a big fan of country music prior to this show yeah, and either. this show actually turned me on to country music because I love the original music on this show mm -hmm. and it made me want to listen to country music because they do inter, inter, well, intertwine real country music with like the background music with their original music. See, I'm so, more of the pop country. I like more of the pop country aspect. I don't like the like. Well, I feel like around this time, country kind of transitioned, at least with for the male singers, into like a like soft rock. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why it started to appeal to more people. Um. I haven't really listened to new country in a while because I don't really listen to the radio. So I'm kind of stuck in like 2013, 2017 country. <laughs> well, I can tell you, I've already made a playlist dedicated to Nashville. And as the, we continue to watch the show, I'll add the songs I like. I'm not skipping ahead. Well, oh, I have songs on my phone that I bought. Well, I lie. <laughs> I, have tele I have Telescope on there, but that's because I remember that song they played it. It was like they made it bigger than what it was meant to be. I think, you know. I have three songs from this episode on my phone currently. <laughs> uh, I created an entire playlist. <laughs> and it's just for the pilot episode. <laughs> so I have the song um, Love Like Mine, the one that That's the, Oh my God, I love it. That the I, girls. I love so that I have song. that. I have the song um, Boys and Buses that Juliet was singing in the studio when she was making eyes at the producer. Mm -hmm. And Which I have the, the last producer? song. Know where the producer's from? 
One Tree One Hill. Tree Hill. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> also, although he was on One Tree Hill first, he was on The Young and the Restless playing Billy Abbott. That's for right. Years, so. mm-hmm. But when I saw him on The Young and the Restless, I was like, he was on One Tree Hill. <laughs> <laughs> But no, the music in this episode is really good. Like, oh, I just love those songs. Are you familiar with any of the cast prior to the show? Like in anything else? Uh, I knew Connie Britton was in Friday Night Lights. Yeah, I never and saw that. Everybody always says that's a great show. Was that before American? When did American Horror Story start? It was before American Horror Story. Okay. So she did American Horror Story right before she did Nashville. Like maybe a okay. few months before. Yeah. Okay. So I knew her from that as well. I think that's as far as I knew her. Uh, I, I knew, knew her from American Horror Story. I was like, oh, it's a girl from American Horror Story. Her but sister. People, uh, oh, I was just her sister played in the original N- Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and in the Halloween Town, she was April O'Connell. <laughs> she was April mm-hmm, in the first one. They recasted her. Yeah, for the second and third. Wow. I haven't seen those movies since I was a kid. <laughs> I love those movies. Uh, and then Halloween, she's in Halloween Town. I never saw that movie. But those, it was a Disney movie, right? Like a yes, TV movie? Yes. And then, Hay- you know, of course, I knew Hayden Pella. Oh, I can't ever say her last name. How do you say it? Penetier. <sighs> I think. <laughs> I'm going to have to listen to it a few times because I used to not be able to say Jared Pedalecki. Pel- huh. I kind of have to say the full name when I say it <laughs> to get it right. Uh, but I knew her. I, you know, she's in Scream and a lot of a few Disney movies and things like that. I knew her from Heroes. I didn't watch Heroes religiously, oh. but I did watch the first season. Save the cheerleader. Save the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even my my grandmother actually was the one that got me into that show. Oh, that's she that's was like, oh, this is a show Heroes I want to watch, so she like made me watch it with her. <laughs> season one was good. I didn't follow through after that. Yeah, same. I think that's the general consensus. A lot of people say you should have stopped at season one. <laughs> no, I should have just ended it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much all I knew her from besides Scream 4. Mm-hmm. But I love her. Oh, my God. She's great. She, the, she has this range of, like, her Kirby and then her Juliet. Oh my god! Like I just like who's Kirby? But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> scream for <laughs> yeah. I just love her. I love her little the way the cattiness she has with Raina in here too. She, my mom was she's like a mix between her Britney. Bellies. She's like a mix between Taylor Swift because it's country <laughs> and like Britney Spears. I think okay, yeah, I could say that. Mm-hmm. But I um, like her little shady comment where my mama was listening to you, listen to you while I was in her belly. I was like, way to make her feel old. <laughs> and that southern uh, uh, saying, bless your heart. What a bless charming story. <laughs> it means so many things and you never know what it means. <laughs> I've said it countless times to people. <laughs> bless your heart. And then when she leaves, Raina's like, what the hell was that? <laughs> And they actually call back to that when she's hitting on Deacon at the Bluebird Cafe. Mm-hmm. And she walks, she gets in the car, drives away. He says, what the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this show made me want to go to Nashville so much. I want to go to the Nashville? Bluebird Cafe. I want to go to the Grand Ole Opry. Like, <sighs> Nashville is really cool. I've been, I've been there a few times. I mean, it's only like eight hours for where I'm at. Seven to eight You're hours. So You're so lucky. <laughs> um, I haven't been there as much as, you know, I could have but the country music museum that is really really cool even for someone who's only kind of like country music's okay but i was like oh this is awesome i think i'm i've been thinking about it a lot because i've been saying for years i want to go to nashville i think next year i'm just gonna do it i think i'm gonna do it for my birthday in april okay so because greg's a teacher he gets like a week off for easter i think i'm gonna try and plan it around a week off for easter we don't even get that around here and we're in the bible belt yeah, that's a typical thing. It's like spring break. Oh, okay. Our spring break's in March. Yeah, Easter either it starts spring break or it ends it usually. Oh, okay. It depends was, on how it falls. I was just like, y'all get a, I mean, a week off for Easter? Yeah, wow. they usually get a week off in February and the week off it in April, end of March. I love how we can learn about each other's states. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. then usually it's they're fun. off the week between Christmas and um, New Year's. Yeah. So... 
Well, if you go, let me know. John and I will pack up and meet you there. We'll do a podcast. <laughs> podcast. We'll go to all the locations and things. Queers on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Make a little magnets we can put on the cars or something. <laughs> um, see, you're turning into me. <laughs> so I like that. <laughs> so yeah, so I think my my favorite character throughout the whole series, or from what I, the first four seasons, is Juliet. I love her. I love Hayden. Mm-hmm. But I really love Raina, too. But Hayden is my number one. At this moment, she's my number one. And then Raina is my number two. I love that the actors can actually sing. It's actually that. Oh, I know. I, well, I was wondering, can Connie Britton actually sing? Or Br- yes. Is it Britton? Or- mm-hmm. Okay. I didn't know if she could sing. I mean, I'm not trying to throw shade, but I think she's the weaker of the cast. But she, well, I mean, she the can... other ones have been like actual singers, singers. So that's not shade, in my opinion. Fun fact: um, Scarlet, the blonde, and Gunner, the one that she sings with at the end, they're actually Australian. Both of them. I actually watched a video where someone had asked them. How did they pretty much how did they perfect their southern accent and things like that? And I was like, oh, I want to hit like it was it was really interesting to hear. I heard country music's actually really popular in Australia. Like Keith Urban's from Australia. Oh yeah. Like, uh, the the one that plays Scarlet in that same video, she was talking about her dad was a flight attendant and he would bring her home like movies for, like Song of the South, which I know is kind of you know not we won't talk about much about that one. Um, Still Magnolias, Fried Green Tomatoes. And those movies, I think she said that's kind of, she loved those like Southern kind of movies. So okay. it's probably, she probably watched them enough that she could pick up the accents too. Yeah. I'm, and I'm sure she had acting coaches. Oh, well, of course. Dialect coaches. Um, do you like Deacon? I don't feel like, yeah, no, I know who Deacon is. I was trying to figure out, like, I don't feel like they showcased much of, like, he was there quite a bit, but not, we don't know much. I mean, I know he had something with Raina, of course. And, of course, that's the one that got away, I feel like. I don't know if that's true. Just, I feel like that's for Raina and him, like. There's more, yeah, there's more to that story. It unravels. (laughs) So, um. I mean, I don't dislike him. He feels so much like an Uncle Keith to me right now. That's fair. I don't know why he just does. I can see that. Um, Raina's daughters, they're actually sisters in real life. Really? I love that part of the car when they're singing her song. (laughs) And then they're singing parts that they probably... Shouldn't really say. I might stay up drunk on wine. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. Which I was like, well, that's kind of on point for, you know, the South. Um, <laughs> I have cousins, their kids would sing songs. I'm like, what are you singing? Like, you shouldn't know that song. Uh, so I'm like, okay, that's fair. That's not, that's realistic. But she's like, I like I mean, she turns it got head head. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of great one liners in this episode, but that's how the show is. It's very witty and like mm-hmm. a lot of rivalries. So I kind of wonder. Go, oh, go ahead. Oh, if you were one of the lead characters, who would you be? Because I know who I would be. I would. Well, be not Marina. to spoil anything, but there ends up being a gay country singer on the show. Oh, we're going. We're talking about pilot. Just the pilot. Oh. And Raina and Julia. Who? Which character is more like you? I feel like I'm more like a Raina. Because I would be like, Mama's got a headache. <laughs> I guess that would make me Juliet then. Because I, I kind of have that. Her. I have that mean streak. <laughs> <laughs> that bitchy quality. Yeah. That cattiness. Like. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I, I I've mellowed. I've that. mellowed in my old age, but it's still in me. <laughs> I just could see me going, Mama's got a headache. Because I just. <laughs> Because that's kind of what I do when there's something I don't, I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with them. Mama's got a headache. I feel like the character of Julia is so layered because she comes off as like this, like stubborn, bitchy, strong-minded. Oh, but when they start to. Ingenue. 
So when they peel back the cart, you peel peel back back the the cart and you see that she's dealing with a mother that's an addict that's constantly trying to get money out of her, which makes her kind of run to men twice her age. (laughs) Which, if you've never dealt with someone who has an addiction, that can be really hard on that that person too mentally. So I I felt for her. Yeah, I know what it's like. Um. But it was nice to see that side of her because I feel like if we didn't see that, we'd probably just be like, we, we wouldn't like her. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, it kind of be like that at first, how no one liked Peyton because she just seemed too mean and bitchy. Uh-huh. I feel like that if they didn't show a little bit about what made her kind of the way she is, we might not have liked, like, we might not have liked her. Yeah. Um, I like, so she slept with the producer, but I like that the producer says I'm, I, I should marry her or whatever. And then they kind of call back to that when Raina storms into the apartment. Stop marrying and she was like, can you stop getting married and just be? <laughs> I love that. It says he has two ex-wives to support mm-hmm. or whatever. And I like how Raina, and this is why I also relate to her. I'd be the one to run my mouth. By the person could hear right up, you know, right upstairs. While she was laying in bed. Yeah. yeah. I'd be the one going, blah, 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 yeah. Mm. And then find Did out. Did that shock you? Were you like, <gasps> when you know, when you realized she was in bed with him? I guess and no, because you saw the like them giving all eyes in that. Uh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but when Raina shows up, you don't really know that he's with somebody. Yeah. Because so. he looks like, I mean, she's fully unclothed, just got the. The blanket and she. Oh, yeah, the act is, is over. She's in the afterglow. <laughs> and he is fully dressed. Looks like uh-huh. he hasn't done anything. <laughs> um, so her father, Raina's father. What an ass. Like, there's no other way to say it. I want to say he's like the Dan Scott, but he's worse. Oh, I could feel like Dan Scott is an angel compared to her father. <laughs> I feel like. Did you notice what he brought up to her when he was trying to blackmail her? Into a... Like, oh, yeah, we know now one of her babies has a different daddy. Mm-hmm. And I was like, damn, we pulling those family secrets out to get what we want. <laughs> out you. That's what I mean. It's so soapy right off the bat. And it, it goes so off the rails in a good way. I want to say like Mauro's place. What's, but not as I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's so good though. I, however, though, when he makes her husband run for mayor, all I can think about is the poor other guy who just wanted Raina to say at his announcement. I was like, oh, like I immediately thought of him. Like, oh, like I felt for him. I don't like Teddy, her husband. I never have. He seems kind of like. Hmm. I think we're supposed to feel bad for him because he's always been in like the shadow Mm -hmm. of Raina, but I don't. (laughs) I thought it was funny when the kids were like, I thought we were rich. Uh, And he talks about poor. We're cash (laughs) poor. I was like, it's not polite to talk about money. I was like, that is so something they say here in the South. (laughs) We don't discuss money. (laughs) Um, I know him from a TV movie that he did with Tiffany Amber Thiessen. What one is that? The Stranger Beside Me. I don't really remember what it's about, but I think they're married. And I think he might be killing people. Huh. And she doesn't know about it. Huh, I don't remember that one. Yeah. Normally I'm up on my Lifetime movie or Monday Night Movie game, but I guess I missed it. <laughs> oh, I watch every Tiffany Amber Thiessen Lifetime movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, she is really amazing. So I actually have most of them, so I'll send them to you. On the drive. <laughs> My best friend and I, we love Death of a Cheerleader with Tori Spelling. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, Mother May I Sleep with Danger. I mean, the classics. Uh, Mother May I Sleep with Danger is my favorite. <laughs> the original, not the James Franco vampire one. <laughs> <laughs> Which also has Tori Spelling <laughs> as the mother. <laughs> oh, Tori. Anyway, uh, back to Nashville. <laughs> But I'm really uh, excited to see where things go. You, they yeah. set up a lot in this episode. Mm-hmm. A lot. Um, Jonathan Jackson's in the show I, from General I, Hospital. I, I've always liked him. He's, I think I remember him from Tuck Everlasting. I never saw that. It looked dumb to me. Oh. Well, 
2003. I had, a, I think, little teenage Aaron had a crush on him. It's like, but then again, you know, he was a movie star, so. <laughs> I know he's done other things, like movies and prime time, but I don't, I, I don't recall seeing him in anything. Yeah, I know he's done quite a bit, but I can't. I couldn't give you his IMDb page without going to IMDb. Yeah, me too. Um, he actually left General. He came back to General Hospital, and I know this because it was around the time that Nelson Marcel came back. <laughs> you and that woman. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think he left to do the show. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I think when Luke, when the actor was retiring, they let him, because he was still in Nashville, they let him come back during the summer for a few weeks to send him off. Okay. Yeah. Plus it's ABC. It's like the same. I was going to say, it surely should work out a little easier. Yeah. <laughs> I did notice, though, when I was watching the pilot last night, that it said CMT in the corner. And I was like, oh, I guess CMT just bought the whole thing. <laughs> I, yeah, I saw that too, and I th- I think it's probably because the last the last place it was aired was CMT, so it's probably just what's all set up there. Yeah, you know, I didn't watch these seasons, but I know Rachel Bilson is a regular at one point. Oh, I forgot about her being on there, and so is uh, Chris Carmack, who played mm-hmm. Luke on the OC. He's the gay character that comes in. <laughs> All right, so I didn't spoil anything because you knew that. <laughs> oh, no, I love Chris Carmack. <laughs> I, I think I, he's on Grey's Anatomy now. Yeah, I don't love him that much. <laughs> I used to love, like, I was a diehard Grey's fan. And then by season seven, I was not a diehard Grey's fan. Well, you lasted longer than I did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Medical dramas don't hold my attention very yeah, long. Really I watched, not. like, the first two seasons. And then Denny died, who's married to Peyton. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And uh, that just broke my heart too much. I couldn't continue. See, I loved, I, I know this is probably not everyone's opinion. I love Catherine Heigl. So <laughs> I, once she kind of left, us kind of like bored, I guess. I always think I like Catherine Heigl more than I actually do. <laughs> I don't know why. Because I've seen her in things that I liked, I guess. I mean, I, I loved her in Roswell. So maybe that's just why. I mean, I really I did like her in Roswell. She was in a Chucky movie that I like. Right of Chucky. That's my favorite one. Yes. And a- Valentine. Ooh, that's a good one, too. Mm-hmm. Which I haven't seen since probably it came out. So it'd probably be like a brand new movie to me. I was going to say, <laughs> if I watched that now, I'd probably be going, oh, my gosh, that's so-and-so or that's so-and-so. Mm-hmm. Because it's, yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen that one, too. <laughs> um. Why are we talking about Catherine Heigl? Oh, because we were talking about Greece. <laughs> but overall, with Nashville, I think it's a great show that mm. had great potential in a wonderful city, like a very vibrant city that I'm, mm. I'm excited to see more of what they do in Nashville. Because I know they filmed, that's an actual bar. They filmed in the Blue Bird. The Blue Bird. And I think I read something where they every episode they're in there, so... Well, yeah, because Gunner and um, Scarlet work there. Uh, well, I don't know that. I'm just in the pilot. I just well, they, they showed them there. working. Yeah, but how do I know they last there all six seasons? Well, I'm just saying, well, I don't think they work there all six seasons. <laughs> but at least I don't think they do. Uh-huh. <laughs> They're around all those famous people and can't get famous? <laughs> no one's opening a door or a window? <laughs> them out? Oh. My favorite line in the episode was when Raina took the meeting with the guy and he said, we need your decision. And she said, you can kiss my decision as it's walking out the door. All right. Got it saved. So I can share it on our Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. I, I screenshotted the, that moment right before she says it. You recorded a video or no, no, no. I just screenshotted the, just took a little screenshot. And I'm going to put oh, that okay. in there. You can kiss my decision as it's walking uh-huh. out the door. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I know. I was like, I need to find a way to use that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I was like, mm. 
I'm here for you, girl. Get it. I really did. I didn't like how every executive though was a man. Yeah, you know, there I were, wonder if that if that's reflective of how it actually is. I mean, I don't know much about behind the scenes country music, so I can't actually comment on that. But I do. I mean, that was 2012, so I guess things have changed a lot in nine years. So I bet it's a little different. I mean, that's what I assume Hollywood is, a bunch of white men in suits. See, and I point that out more and as I get older. I'm like, why is it just a bunch of white men making all the decisions? I mean, I guess that's how a lot of things go, but I'm pointing it out because I want it to change. Yeah. I want some diversity and inclusion in there. <laughs> Bring on everybody. Nashville, uh, they they try, but I mean, it's, they have a gay character. I think at some point that a black girl was in the main cast for a couple of seasons. Um, but it's also I don't I mean, know. and it is it's set around country music, country music, which is not very diverse or inclusive in a lot of ways. Yeah, so. I can only think of two black country singers. Darius Rucker and uh, Kane Brown. That's the only two I could think of. And they're really good, too. <laughs> um, yeah. So what was your favorite song? I am going to go with the ones that they recorded, correct? Not just like... Uh, okay. okay. I wanted to make sure we weren't just talking about all the music, but we're also, you know, we're just talking about the songs written the for original, the original music. Yeah. Uh, is it called Love Like Mine? It's mm-hmm. the one that's played. That's my favorite. Okay. I had to have it for my commute to work and from work because I wanted to listen to it. You bought it? No, I have Apple Music, so I just, you know. Oh, okay. All the all the uh, Nashville songs are still on there. Oh, good. Do they have like a, is it like Spotify? Do they have channels? Like, could, do you have like a Nashville channel or whatever? I think you can create channels. I just typically just add That's it to my and, uh, Pandora, where they play like artists that are similar so along I with. I don't use Pandora. I use Apple Music and then I use Spotify for, for here and there. But look at us promoting all these apps. They should pay us. I know. <laughs> Working overtime. <laughs> so. But I, I mean, very good pilot. I highly recommend it. I've already actually already recommended it to a friend. I was like, have you watched Nashville? And he went, no, I always wanted to. I was like, you should watch it. <laughs> it's on him. Yeah. I- I'm promoting all these old shows that imagine what could have happened if I would have been doing this when it was on the air. <laughs> well, at least this aired less than 10 years ago. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So we're, we're, we're getting closer. <laughs> we're getting closer to the present day. We've been living in the 80s and the 90s the last few months. <laughs> oh, but it's been a rough year, so it's good to live where some TV was just mindless and fun. Yeah. Um, I guess Love Like Mine is my favorite song from this episode. I did used to listen to it on loop a lot. <laughs> my second favorite song would have to be the one at the end that Scarlett um, and Gunner. Gunner sing. I... Just, I thought that's good. It was really good. I didn't always love that song until I actually stopped and listened to the lyrics. And it's a pretty, this is why I fell in love with country music because there's a story, I feel like, with every song. Oh, yeah. And it's normally heartbreak. Mm-hmm. Heartbreak or drinking. Heartbreak or drinking. <laughs> How we live it in the South, heartbreak. Sometimes drinking. drinking away your heartbreak. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but yeah. I hope we get to cover more episodes since you're hooked now. Oh, I, I am like, you know what? Let's do a side show where we just cover Nashville because no one's doing that one. <laughs> Add more work for us. Uh, no, There's we're not enough time in the day or days of the week to cover everything you want to cover. <laughs> we have to quit our day jobs, and you know, we don't make no money oh. right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still, I'm working on my, my plan. My number one plan right now is win the lottery. So if I make that happen, you know. 
<laughs> We're good to go. We can move to Nashville and do a podcast from there. <laughs> we'll just buy an RV and travel around to different where <laughs> towns where shows are set. Like this week, we're in, I think, wherever Everwood would, was filmed. Or <laughs> remember Everwood? You don't remember that show? Yeah, I wasn't really into that show. All right. I, I was, was just only a little. I don't know. I felt like it was too goody goody. Okay, I get you. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. It had a seventh heaven vibe to it. <laughs> no, nothing has a seventh heaven vibe to it. That's what I took away from it. <laughs> but is that uh, what did I want to ask you? Oh, did John watch it with you? No, no. I wasn't. I'm actually going to tell him to watch it because I think he might like this. Does he like country music? No, not really. Really. But no, no, yeah, he does, but more like the 80s, 90s country music. Okay. The kind that I'm not really a huge fan of. Okay. But I can't help it. Yeah, I didn't really like old country too much. I felt like it was too twangy. <laughs> there is one song, though. Uh, it's Alan Jackson, Chattanooga, I think is what it's called. Okay. Like, I love it. It's, I, the, it's funny when I sing it, though, because part of it's like, Dun, 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 something about women and da, 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 and hoochie coochie or something hotter than hoochie coochie. <laughs> but when I'm like, I full on perform that song in a car when it's me and John or anyone. <laughs> I'm like doing a drag show with my cowboy hat and singing to me some <laughs> Jackson. Doing your country drag. <laughs> I think my mom has a video of it. <laughs> I've really? <laughs> never seen it to me. I, I have no shame. I put it online. <laughs> <laughs> so but i'm really glad you recommended that show because i think i tried watching it once before and i just didn't really i think i was just mm-hmm. busy, so things happen but when i sat down and had to actually watch it i was like oh my god the show's great why did i mess out on it i couldn't sleep last night i was tempted to just keep watching it all night <laughs> i almost kept watching it but i was like if i keep watching it i'm going to discuss more of it and we're talking about the pilot like, yeah. I'm going to stay focused. I was up till two, which is not like me, but I took a nap yesterday and it screwed me up. So I was about to just watch it till I had to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> I probably would have watched half the first season. <laughs> but all right, all right I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, I'm ready to watch more. So we'll have to do future episodes for sure. Okay. Like there's got to be some cliffhangers in there that are just going to be great. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I can just <laughs> feel it. I can feel it. It's going to give me what I want out of a soap Never mind time. cliffhangers on a regular episode. Those like mid season finale and regular finale cliffhangers. Are they? Okay. You're going to be happy that it's over and that you could just watch it right <laughs> away. <laughs> you have to wait all summer. <laughs> I love a good cliffhanger. I just don't love waiting I know. time. So. <laughs> That's all. I mean, that's that's all my comments about Nashville. Do you have anything else to add? Anything no, I think that's it. Okay. Yeah. Well, make sure you follow us on all the socials. You just got to search Queers and Soaps. We'll pop right up. And we hope you join us next time. Have a good day, everybody. Bye, guys. <laughs>